Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video to update you on some new stuff that Radio Master have brought out. So if you are a Zorro owner or if you have the TX12, this is going to be right up your street. Links below to everything if you want to go and have a look. Now, the first thing I want to talk about are these gimbals. These are the AG01 Mini CNC Hall Effect gimbals. Now, these are the baby versions of the big ones that I have in my TX16S. Lots of us have gone and bought the gimbals. It's nearly about the same price for the gimbals as it was for the radio, but they are vastly superior to the original gimbals. Centering's better, feels better, the smoothness is fantastic as well as the adjustability. Now, there has been a lot of requests for smaller versions of these, specifically for the TX12, but it's the same gimbals in the TX12 as is also in the Zorro. So they've brought out these baby versions. Now, they have the same style as the larger versions in the TX16S. So you have that kind of brushed aluminium CNC style to them and they don't have the same adjustment accessibility through the front as the larger units do. So all of the adjustment is on the back so you do have to kind of make sure that things like your tension for your throttle and stuff is absolutely set. There isn't a ratchet for the throttle but there is a tension bar. The only access to change things is on the front of these and that is the vertical travel and that's the same as the standard uh, gimbals that are in the Zorro and the TX12 already. Now it does provide improved feel and accuracy. So this has an adjustable vertical travel range from about 38 to 54 degrees. I'm leaving mine on full travel because that's what feels better to me. Uh, Self-centering adjustment is absolutely possible. Both of mine that have been supplied are set for self-centering so you can decide and disable the self-centering on the one that you want. It's easy mode adjustment. There is a screw in the pack that you just screw in to hold the uh, tension bar that keeps it vertically centered. You just screw that into place using the supplied screw and that reduces that then to allow you to have the throttle on whichever side you want. Quad bearing on this, temperature ranges are nice and big, minus 20 to about 85 degrees C. They're about 42 grams each, so a little bit heavier than the original ones, but they feel really nice. Size is 49 by 42 by 48 millimeters. Now I decided to put these into my Zorro. I like the Zorro and it's a great little radio. It's kind of replacing my FreeSky x Lite for playing around with stuff. Now to put them into the Zorro is a little bit of a faff. The, the Zorro is built uh, like a little laptop computer. So you not difficult, but you do need to give yourself half an hour in a steady hand. You need to remove the screws from the back plate and lift that off. That will give you access internally. Once you're inside, unplug the two cables from the power connectors on the back, and then you can put that to the side. Then it's a case of undoing a couple of screws at the bottom of the PCB, and at this point I would take a load of photographs of how it's all put together, because you're going to have to remember where all these cables go back. Lots of the cables are colour-coded, and the PCB is very nicely, has the legends on it to show you where everything's supposed to plug back in, which makes it a lot easier. Once you've unplugged everything, including the ribbon cable, uh, the ribbon cable connector just lifts up, and then you can slide that out. You can pull the PCB out of the way, and then you can get to the gimbals themselves. They're held in place with four screws. There are screws supplied here with the new AG01 mini gimbals, but to be honest, I didn't find I needed those. The other ones were long enough and worked great. Once that's all done, then it's just a case of putting the radio back and retracing your steps. And once that all's all closed up, I would recommend that you rerun the calibration routine within HTX just to make sure that the radio knows what the center stick positions are going to be. Do make sure that you have done the adjustment on the gimbal for the one that you're going to use for the throttle and uh, just be super careful about which is the horizontal and which is the vertical sensor and where that plugs into the back. But if you just take your time with it, it isn't too tricky. The only thing I noticed about these is that they didn't come with a little pot of grease like the larger versions do. Checking with the Radio Master, that caused lots of shipping problems because there were little pots of fluid inside. Uh, I think that would have been a nice thing to have, but I've put a dab of that on these gimbals from the full-size AG01s that I got for my TX16S. But to be honest, I'm not sure you actually need it. Uh, that's only really needed for the tension for the throttle. 
When they're installed, they feel absolutely amazing and they look fantastic. Height adjustable as you'd expect. And they feel very much like the larger AG01 gimbals that are in the TX16S. So if you're looking for an upgrade for the gimbals on your Zorro or your TX12, we now have an option of some very, very nicely made and machined smaller versions of the AG01 that we've all liked for a while. Next thing I'll mention is there is a case for the Zorro as well. I'm a big fan of that. The Zorro was supplied in a plastic clamshell, which I guess is done to reduce cost, but it's not a great way to keep it. I like to have my radios protected inside a bag. It's amazing how often things occasionally get dropped or kicked or something happens to them at the field. So having them safe away, uh, particularly when you put these expensive gimbals in the radio, is a good idea. Now, this isn't a particularly expensive thing. You know, the gimbals are a lot cheaper than the full-size AG01s. They're about $100. This is only about a $20 case. It isn't particularly big. It's only about 20 by 22 by 10.5 centimeters. Fits the radio beautifully. Extra spaces in here for additional 18350 batteries. And also there is a nice sculpt at the bottom, which allows you to put it in here, even if you have a module plugged in the back with an antenna. So something like an ELRS or something like a Crossfire with one of the kind of, you know, the larger antennas would fit in here beautifully. Last couple of things are small, but might be really interesting to you. These are the Sticky 360. I don't think that's aimed at me. Uh, stick ends. Now, there are two different versions. There are ones available for the full-size TX16S size gimbals and ones available for those uh, Zorro TX12 style gimbals. Not just for the AG01 and the AG01 Mini, but for the standard gimbals that are supplied on those radios as well. It looks like it fits those too. Now, available in loads and loads of different colors. I've just got three here, the black, the red, and the blue, but you can also get them in silver, gold, purple and green as well sadly still no orange but i live in hope now these have a very aggressive design than the standard stick ends that are already very good that come on those gimbals i quite like those stick ends i am a thumber and i can fly for several hours in a day and they mean that by the end of the day my pads of my thumbs aren't getting sore however holding on to these these have lots of what feel like little sharp graduate they don't dig into your skin as such but they feel like those little round uh, furry blobs that you get if you've ever walked through longer grass in the summer with socks on with maybe trainers or sneakers and you kind of get to the other side and you have loads of those little sticky things that are stuck onto your socks they feel like that they almost feel like they are sticking to your fingers they're not they're just the ridges of your fingers are really kind of been uh, bitten into by these cuts that are in the cnc design the tops in particular are quite aggressive but the sides also feel that way too. It feels like I can let go of them and they wouldn't fall off my fingers. Now these are going to be great if you have a problem with the existing stick ends where you don't think they're aggressive enough. Maybe you're flying in situations where your fingers are slipping off them or you want to fly in situations where you're gonna have gloves on you want something that's gonna not slip around if you're gonna wear something like gloves in colder weather these would work a treat the thread is m4 on the ones that are designed for the tx16s and the ones that are for the smaller gimbals are m3 they're just over a gram a piece and the smaller ones are 7.9 by 21.6 millimeters the larger ones are 9.2 two by 24 millimeters they're quite a bit bigger but it doesn't mean you still have all the height adjustment but you get a much more aggressive feel now this is all nice bling and some extra pieces for the Zorro and TX12 this time it's great to see Radio Master continuing to offer better quality pieces and upgrades for those who want them I'm sure there'll be editions of these radios well, that will come with this kind of bling on, those kind of maxed and named editions, but it's very nice to see them being offers of upgrades for those of us who already have those radios. So hopefully that's interesting for those of you that have seen this on the website. It's kind of out there today. Uh, links below if you want to go and have a look. 
Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.